Space is a vast place with many mysteries in it. The trillions of planets and stars are just there in space and humans are curious by nature and want to explore this gigantic space. We know that the leading front in space exploration is NASA and since its establishment, it has made many attempts to explore nearby stars and planets, the most prominent among them being the planet Mars. Robotics is something NASA is good with, as it is into building them way before anyone else started. They even came up with a functional robot in the 1970s. So what are they working on now? We went to the archives of NASA available online and started to track what they are doing day and night there. Let's start. As we know that new findings and opportunities come with new risks, an environment of space is unforgiving to the fragile human. So to cope with the harsh environments and to make life easy for astronauts in space, NASA has advanced its technology in robotics and they have manufactured and designed new robots which are able to do most of the work in space themselves. In this video, we will discuss the new advanced robotic technology, which NASA is currently using or plans to use in its space missions. First, the Power and Propulsion Element, PPE, is a high-power 60 kilowatt solar electric propulsion spacecraft that will provide power, high-rate communications, altitude control, and orbital transfer capabilities for the gateway. It basically acts as the navigation and engine of the craft. The Habitation and Logistics Outpost, HALO will be the initial crew cabin for astronauts visiting the Gateway. HALO's primary purpose is to provide basic life support needs for the visiting astronauts after they arrive in the Orion and prepare for their trip to the lunar surface. It will provide command, control and data handling capabilities, energy storage and power distribution, thermal control, communications and tracking capabilities, as well as environmental control and life support systems to augment the Orion spacecraft and support crew members. It also will have several docking ports for visiting vehicles and future modules, as well as space for science. All these are necessary to provide a livable environment to the crew members so they can focus on the mission. The need for deep space logistics is very crucial and the gateway is built in consideration for this need. As astronauts prepare for missions to the lunar surface, they will need deliveries of critical pressurized and unpressurized cargo. Science experiments and supplies, such as sample collection materials and other items. In March 2020, NASA announced SpaceX as the first US commercial provider under the Gateway Logistics Services contract to deliver cargo and other supplies to the Gateway. One logistics service delivery is anticipated for each crewed Artemis mission to the Gateway. Canada announced in February 2019 its intentions to participate in the Gateway and contributed advanced external robotics. In December 2020, the Canadian Space Agency awarded a contract to MDA, McDonnell Detweiler & Associates Limited, to build the Canada Arm 3 for Artemis Deep Space missions. Let's move on to our next robotic technology called the Canada Arm 3. Canada Arm 3 will be Canada's contribution to the US-led gateway. This highly autonomous robotic system will use cutting-edge software to perform tasks around the moon without human intervention. The smart robotic system will include several distinct parts, which include a large 8.5 meter long arm, a smaller but more dexterous arm, and also a set of detachable tools. After the successful Canada Arm 2, the next generation Canadian robotic system will be designed to maintain, repair, and inspect the gateway. The 8.5 meter long arm will be able to capture visiting vehicles and relocate gateway modules. It's also designed to be able to help astronauts during spacewalks and ultimately enable science both in lunar orbits and on the surface of the moon. Canada Arm 3 is designed to work autonomously. However, the system could also be operated by robotics flight controllers in Canada or by gateway crew during spacewalks. Canada Arm 3 will be able to maintain itself in space, swapping out parts and keeping itself constantly ready to perform precise operations. Each end of Canada Arm 3's arms will be able to attach to the gateway using specially designed interfaces on the gateway's exterior. Each anchoring hand will plug into an interface that supplies power, data and video connections. These interfaces will also allow the large and small arms to work together to accomplish tasks and will help store tools when not in use. The target date for delivering Canada Arm 3 to the gateway is 2027. However, it can be adjusted based on progress of the Gateway project. NASA is also developing cutting-edge software for the Gateway program, along with the advanced robots. 
The Advanced Exploration System, AES, Funded Autonomous Systems and Operations, ASO project, demonstrated a vehicle system management, VSM capability to the Gateway program. VSM integrates automated planning, plan execution and fault management with flight software. VSM is able to detect faults, build plans to actively isolate initially ambiguous faults, and build plans to restore the most functioning state of the vehicle system in the presence of faults, while also taking into account mission timelines and objectives. In other words, the VSM will be able to do most of the work completely by itself. NASA has developed many robots for their astronauts in the ISS, so they can perform tasks with ease. We have seen the successful work of the Robonaut series, that is the Robonaut 1 and Robonaut 2. The most advanced among these humanoid robots being the R5, aka Valkyrie. Valkyrie has had several improvements among its predecessors. Valkyrie can be configured to run from a wall or from battery power. Valkyrie's head sits atop a 3DOF neck. Valkyrie also features fore and aft hazard cameras, located in the torso. Each upper arm consists of four series elastic rotary actuators and when combined with the forearm, has seven joints. The arm has a quick mechanical and electrical disconnect between the first two joints that allow for easy shipping and service. Valkyrie features a simplified humanoid hand, with three fingers and a thumb. The robot's torso houses two series elastic rotary actuators and two series elastic linear actuators. Each upper leg contains five series elastic rotary actuators. All in all, the Valkyrie is the best and most advanced humanoid robot so far. NASA has developed three new robotic teammates to work alongside astronauts on the International Space Station as they help to advance research. Astro-B, which is NASA's new free-flying robotic system, will help astronauts reduce time they spend on routine duties, leaving them to focus more on the things that only humans can do. Working autonomously or via remote control by astronauts, flight controllers or researchers on the ground. The robots are designed to complete tasks such as taking inventory, documenting experiments conducted by astronauts with their built-in cameras, or working together to move cargo throughout the station. In addition, the system serves as a research platform that can be outfitted and programmed to carry out experiments in microgravity, which will be helping us to learn more about how robotics can benefit astronauts in space. The Astro-B system consists of three cube-shaped robots, software, and a docking station used for recharging. The robots use electric fans as a propulsion system that allows them to fly freely through the microgravity environment of the station. Cameras and sensors help them to see and navigate their surroundings. The robots also carry a perching arm that allows them to grasp station handrails in order to conserve energy or to grab and hold items. Want to keep an eye on NASA? Stay connected by subscribing as we will be bringing more such videos. Humanoid robots are interesting as they will completely end the need of sending astronauts into space. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching till the end.